I'm here to talk about animated GIFs. We're creating them in Photoshop. There's a lot of things you can do with this here, and I'm just going to go into this folder here. I've got several files here, okay? And what it is, we're going to have a couple of issues I want to go over with you. You can do these animations where they will appear in a website, in a PowerPoint, on your Facebook page, and other things you can do with it. I will do a quick demo of one in a little bit within a PowerPoint so I don't run into 20 minutes with this tutorial. So I always say put them in one folder, and then you should have them all the exact same size. You're going to see a couple of little issues here, so I want you to see what is going on. I just want to delete this file. I don't need it now. So what it is, I go into, I'm in CS6 on a PC. Um, I go into file, I go into scripts, I go into load files into stack. I'm showing you a lot of real shortcuts here. You browse, I'm going to select all the files that I want here. And if you look over to the right, it's going do 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 coming up here. And we're seeing things slightly irregular, which is good. I'm going to hide, I'm going to go down to the bottom layer here. You want these things here, otherwise you have a really funky presentation. So I go here, this one looks good, this looks good, this does not look good. It's too small, okay, to put the background in there. Uh, if you like it that way, fine, but what I do here, I just enlarge it. I'm on the move tool, so I have that there. I go up, good, 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 not good. I'm on that top layer here. It's too small. I just drag it a little bit bigger here. It, if it goes off, don't worry, don't worry. It'll be fine. It doesn't go outside the border. So we've got a few images in here, okay? And I would say save your file as you're going along. Okay. Because I have made mistakes, okay? And if you save it before you go to the next step, and you mess up, you can call it back, okay? Next thing we want to do, I click on Window. I go into Timeline. You have two choices here. Create Video Timeline or Create Frame Animation. Choose that. Now, what you have to do is you click right on a second time. It puts that one image in here. I want all of them. I go to the far right here, and then what I say... I make frames from layers. So you're going to get a frame from every layer in here. Right now, it's running zero seconds. Not cool. You won't be able to see this. I have the first one here. I put my finger on the shift key. Click on the far right. You could scroll over if you have several hundred. Um, I'd say keep it simple. Uh, I'm going to make this one second here. So I'm going to click on this little right arrow here. That plays it. So you're seeing it. Depends on how often, how long you want people to see. People have pretty good attention spans, okay? And if you want to make it a continuous loop where it says once here, typically I say forever, okay? And if you want to change the time of one, you can go in here and make it a half a second. You could go over here, make that one two seconds. So you can customize things. So we have this done. This is essentially done at this point. So I'm going to do a file. I'm going to say save for web. Okay. It's going to be an animated GIF. I said forever. It's shown forever over here. These can be huge files. You might want to shrink down DPI physical size. I'm going to say save. And then it's going to go into the folder that I want here. It's called animation. You can call it anything you want. Tour of Princeton. I say save. So that is done. Now I want to show you the results here. I have a PowerPoint here. I have this here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into animated GIF here. And what I want to do, I want to put that GIF in here. So I go into insert. And I go into pictures, and then I'm going to browse on my desktop for the animated GIF folder here. And I see animation GIF. 
I have it here. I can resize, as you know. And watch this. I go into the slideshow. It's showing it, or if it's in a um, website here, that way they get the tour. It keeps going on and on and on. That's all it is. Have fun.